Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this beautiful beaded daffodils necklace. I'm sure that with the step by step instruction you will be making it with no problem. Okay, I also have a tutorial for earrings and uh, you will need this tutorial because the middle element of this necklace is done with this element that I'm showing in the earrings and you will see the video here at the eye icon and down there in description. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell because I have more similar absolutely free tutorials for you and if you want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member you will also see a link down there in description. Now without further ado let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 oz seed beads or you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want and I'm using yellow, black, dark orange and light orange. Here I'm using chains because you know I'm making a necklace. If you're making only the earrings you won't need this. And here I'm using monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. And by the way, you could check description for the full list of materials, link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, also link to other useful resources and to the membership option. Now, if you become a member, you will get the course five unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch besides the other perks that you get. So you could check it out. Okay, so let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 if you want. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that uh, I use to attach my chains to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up 12 of these beautiful black beads. Okay, I have my 12 here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot here by making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Then what I want to do is to make one more knot, just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay. Now in my next step, I want to go through some beads in this direction. Okay, just like this. Now I want to take five of these beautiful yellow beads. And as I'm exiting through one of the black beads, I'm skipping the next one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, and I have this, five again, skip the next, go through the following, five, and I'm going to continue this three more times until the end. Okay, and I have five here and I go in the last black one. Okay, then in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go through these two beads in this direction. Okay, I'm exiting next to the middle one of the five that I added in my previous one, the one that is sticking out the most. And again, I need five beads. I skip this one and go through the following. I need one black bead. And now I will go through the second yellow counting from the black center. One, two, this is the second yellow. And I go like this. 
Okay, five. Skip the central one. Go through the next. A black one. Go in the second yellow like I did before. Five. Keep here the center, one black, go here, and I'm going to repeat this until the end, five, one, five, one, and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step, where I need to add my last black bead from this row and I'm adding it to the same place through the second yellow bead counting from the center okay then again I want to go through two beads take five skip the central one and go through the next one okay then yellow black yellow and go through this yellow which is closer to the one that's sticking out the most it is the fourth yellow counting from the center five again and skip this central one and go just through the next one yellow black yellow the same yellow which is closer to the one that's sticking out the most five yellow black yellow And repeat until the end. Five yellow, black, yellow, five yellow, black, yellow. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the, the video from here and repeat these steps from here and meet me. Okay, and I'm adding here yellow, black, yellow. Like this. And what I want to do is go through two beads again in this direction. Five again. Skip here the central one. Now I'm going to be needing three beads. Okay, three. And go here in this black one three again go in the yellow five skip the central one like I did before and three three go next to the one that's sticking out the most five skip the top one go through the following three go here in the center Three more, go next to the sticky outy, and I will continue this five, three, three, five, three, three, and I'll meet you here at the last step. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last three beads from this row, and you see where I'm adding them at the same place like I did before. Okay, then in my next step, guys, I want to go one more time through these two 
yellow beads but this time I won't be adding five beads but I will add three I skip here the top and go through the following just like this then I'm going to take three yellow beads and I will go here in the central yellow one just like this take just one black bead and go here in the central of the three yellows that you added in your previous step just like this and pull three yellows go next to the top one three yellows skip the top one and go through the following okay three again go in the central one of these three yellows that you added in your previous step one black go in the same place three go here three skip the center and go here and then you continue this until the end three 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 at the top three 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 at the top and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i have three last beads from this row and i'm going here and this is the basis of one of the two small flowers that i'm gonna be using for my necklace and i'm going to show you how i'm forming the center of my daffodil in the smaller flower first I want to reach the center of my work okay and where I want to exit here you see how in the basis of each petal I have one, two, three black beads. I want to be exiting through the first one of these three. What I want to take are a light orange, a dark orange, a yellow, a dark orange and a light orange. Okay, this is the sequence. Then I'm going to skip the next black one that's on my way and I will go in the following black. Okay, now you see what I have. I have this loop sticking out of my work. Then I'm going to take the same sequence here. Skip the next one and go through the following. And I have the same thing. Two loops sticking out in this direction. I'll show you one more time. Okay. Here is what I have. And I pull. Now I have three loops of beads that are sticking out. You see, these are a loop of beads. And I'm going to make three more like this. And I'll be back to show you the final result. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last loop of beads and you see where I go in the very first black bead that I started my first loop from okay then what I want to do guys is go in my next black one here in the center then what I want to do is go here through this light orange and the dark orange
then through the yellow and through the dark orange and now as I'm exiting here out of the dark orange after the yellow I need one yellow and I go in the same place through the dark orange bead in my next loop then I go through the yellow and through the dark orange again you see now again I'm exiting out of a dark orange and I take a yellow again and I go in the next dark orange of my next loop okay you see and I'm going to connect in the same manner all of my dark orange beads with yellows Okay, I'll do this off camera one, two, three times and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last light orange bead from this row. Now, what I want to do is go here at the back and I want to reach the main part of my flower. And how I do this, I go like this through the orange then what I want to do is go again in these yellow beads here and now what I want to do is go in this direction now I want to make a loop here of black beads where I will attach my chain later because as I said this is one of the two smaller flowers that I'm using for my necklace okay now I'm going to take five black beads I'm taking five black beads and I'm going around like this Now guys, what I want to do next is to make the same element like this. I won't be cutting my thread, you see. I will make the same element without cutting my thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I said, as when I continued beading, I made one more of those elements, you see. And this one in the center, I have it from my earrings tutorial. If you want to make this one, the central one, you could go there and uh, make this flower. It is here at the eye icon and it is also down there in description. So you could definitely do this. If you don't want to make the big one, you could make the necklace with three of those elements. But I think with this, it looks better. So now what I want to show you is how to connect them. Okay, so this is the central one and these are the two that will be from each side so i want to connect them in this way and here is are the black uh, beads where i'm going to attach my chains okay what i want to do is connect this one to this one and how i'm going to do this i will go with my thread through all of the beads and I'll exit here. I don't want you to watch me struggle through all of those beads. That is why I'll do this off camera. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back. Okay, guys. And now I'm exiting here from this bead. I went around through some beads and I exited here. 
Now what I want to do is connect this petal to these two petals of my larger element. And how I do this as I'm exiting here, I want to go through this black one. Then I will go back through the yellow one. Then I will start connecting those beads here, one by one or two by two, whatever is easier for you. Going in the one row, then going in the other row. Okay, now what I want to do is transfer from the other side. I don't want to bore you. That is why I'm going to connect those the same way one by one or two by two. Then I'm going to take my next element and I'm going to connect it as well using this needle and this thread. I'm going to connect it uh, the same way and then I'll be back. And I'm here where I just connected those three elements. And now I'm going to show you how to attach these chains that you have here with a clasp. Okay. You could do it with a beaded chain if you want, if you don't have chains or you could buy chains, they are not that expensive. Okay, and I'll do this from the other side and my necklace will be ready. Okay guys, and now my beaded daffodils necklace is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new tutorials. Don't forget that I have a tutorial for earrings. You could check it out as well. Down there in description, you will find a lot of useful resources. Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with great perks that you could see also down there in description. Thank you so much for watching. Continue with the tutorial that you see on your screens. Bye-bye from me.